Hello and welcome to another Tomb Raider playthrough. This is Tomb Raider Chronicles, also known as Tomb Raider 5. This was the fifth and final Tomb Raider game that was released on the original PlayStation back in 2000. Uh, this, of course, is the PC version, which I believe came out around the same time. Uh, I'm just running a few patches and mods to, to get it up to a, a working standard on a modern PC. So, I don't remember much of this game. Now, I, I did play this at the time. This, of course, came out a year after the last revelation, and the last revelation was supposed to be the last game, Lara dies, she's, you know, missing, presumed dead, I think, is the idea. I have Butler. In world news, a private memorial service was today held for renowned archaeologist Lara Croft. Tis a sad day, Winston. She will live on forever in our hearts. Surely, Winston. And for this is but a memorial service. There may yet be news from Von Croy in Egypt. Indeed. We can only hope and pray that she may yet return to us. But I fear Von Croy digging in the hopes of discovering her alive may only be met with black reality. Indeed. Indeed. It's a bit premature then to have a memorial service for her. When, uh... Yeah, they're still searching for a body? I don't know. I don't know how long after it's supposed to be. I just realised I've got bilinear filtering turned on. <clears throat> Might turn that off actually. I'm not sure. I, I, I seem to find with these old Tomb Raider games that when you turn texture filtering on, it has a tendency to. Uh, sort of, I don't know, actually, it doesn't look too bad in this one. And to be able to see the seams. what this little intro looks like first and then I'll think about changing it afterwards. The uh, I assume this is the grounds of Croft Manor, although it looks yeah. yeah it looks more or less the same. There is no Lara's mansion level in this as far as I'm aware. I don't think there's any tutorial level at all in this in this one. You do get to see it here. Ah, Lara's treasure room. This is a cool little attract sequence, I quite like this. Okay, that was impressive. Who do you think she is? Trinity from the Matrix. To be fair, this was 2000. Um, it was probably quite a bit of, you know, inspiration from films like The Matrix at the time. Yeah, so the idea behind Tomb Raider Chronicles, of course, is that all of Lara's friends and acquaintances and whatnot are telling stories about her past adventures. So these are essentially all flashbacks, and I think it's, I think there's only four, I think it's a shorter game than the previous one. Um, yeah, I, I don't really remember much about it. I did play through it, I did finish it, I know I did finish it. Um, but we'll see. Okay. Space Age rail guns. Oh look, a pyramid. Hmm. 
It's got a bad bit of in-game rendering for uh, the old Tomb Raider engine. Uh, that would be uh, one Croy's rescue effort, I guess. I don't think you actually go back to Egypt in this one. Sure, how long this a track sequence goes on for, to be honest. All the scenes with Lara seem to be uh, her leather wear. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, she's such a such a brute. And then we're back to the beginning. Okay, right. Have a little look at the options here. I think I will, uh, I'll leave extra fuel train turn on for the moment. I might turn it off later. We'll see how we go. Uh, music volume. I'll turn that up a little bit. Sound quality high. That's what that means. Targeting manual. No, I want that on automatic. Special features. Not accessible yet. Fine. Controls I've got set up through Steam. Okay, let's start a new game. To the study, gentlemen, where we may pontificate over the day's disheartening events. Indeed, my friend, even the heavens cry out. Ah, the Philosopher's Stone. One of Lara's early conquests, and one of her most challenging pursuits, if my memory serves me. And Rome still bears the scars of that little episode. Ah, she was never one for diplomacy, Lara. But she certainly knew how to paint the town red. He looks familiar, who's he? I'm supposed to know who... Oh, God darn, ain't she just a picture? Ah. The charming Mr. Larson. Has Pierre let you off the leash? Larson and Pierre. Which, where is our learned friend? Oh, he's around. You got the cash? I've got the cash, but I don't deal with the monkey. <laughs> well, now that ain't polite for a lady. Even if the monkey has the mercury stone. Lucky I'm in a generous mood. Ah. Crawled out from under your rock, I see. No need for unpleasantries, Miss Croft. I'm afraid I must, once again, relieve you of your burden. Easy come, easy go. Larson <laughs> and Pierre, now they were from Tomb Raider 1, weren't they? So, this is... I think they died. Well, I think it's set before Tomb Raider 1. Larson was the cowboy guy. Maybe he didn't die, I can't remember. He cannot remember. Lara got changed quickly. What's uh, new? Okay, the uh, UI is basically the same as that from the previous game. Save and load icons are different though. PC specific. The not sure what that is. IMX to EMX. Oh, that's your stats. Sponsored by Timex. 
flares, not many. Fine. We're backstage. Let's have a look through here. To climb onto this crate, stand next to the crate, push forward, and then action. So this is the uh, tutorial area. To leap this short distance, walk to the edge. Now press forward and jump together. Bizarre. Now let's try a longer leap. Walk to the edge, then tap back once. Now press forward and jump together. I'm assuming you can skip this whole section. I climb this. No. I'm guessing this is an optional tutorial area. And now for the big jump. Walk to the edge, then tap back once. Now press forward and jump together. When in mid-air, hold action to grab onto the ledge. <laughs> to perform a sideways somersault, press left and jump. Down there. To monkey swing, jump straight up at the bars and press and hold action, then push forward. I don't know if there are any new moves in this game. For me to climb this wall, stand next to it and press forward and action together. Keep hold of action and push up to climb the wall. To climb around corners, just keep pushing in the desired direction. There we go. Turn around corners, I added that to Tomb Raider 4. Crawl, hold down crouch and now push forward. So that's all the same so far. Textures are a bit of an eyesore, I've got to say. <clears throat> to use the lever switch, stand next to the switch and press action. Open this door. doesn't mind me just running around backstage. Turn around with all this stuff. Down here. Nope. Uh, yeah, okay, this way. To swim, jump into the water. Use action to swim forward and the directions to steer. Better yet, let's dive. Wash. to the edge and press action. To walk the tightrope, walk up to the rope and press action. Push forward. If you unbalance, push in the opposite direction to correct. 
Tightrope, okay, that is new. Is, uh, that is definitely new. this rope. Has there ever been a tightrope section in a game that wasn't complete tosh? <sighs> and really, what's the point of it other than to slow the game down? started. Okay, yeah, so that that basically was an optional little assault course. Uh, there's a door through here. What does this do? This is still part of the tutorial, whether this is something uh, different. I'll climb that. Grab onto that. <clears throat> ah, okay. Bit that was below me. window dressing to be honest, right, I want to go back out into the street. Again, I've turned the bilinear filtering off. It's just now look more pixelated, but I think it looks better. You know, it's less smeary. I think it's a bit more consistent with, with how it should look. Uh, right. Suspicious. Down here. Did I turn on auto targeting? Oh, 
in a wall. Open the gate. With another hole in the wall behind it. Reminding me a bit of the Venice level from Tomb Raider 2. And where was it? This way. Of moths. Get off me. Hello, <coughs> moths in Rome. <coughs> oh, Sarah. There's something up there. I think it's a medi pack. Let's see if I can get it. So with all Tomb Raider games, you can tell if you can reach something by counting the blocks. Uh, that's a gap of two. So normally that would be a running jump or a jumping grab, but because the ledge is a bit higher, it's going to have to be a running jump and grab, I think. Yep, there we go. Perfect. More mid pack. Again, I to save it regularly. I don't like repeating stuff. Doom Raider games do have a tendency to just kill you suddenly and unexpectedly. Well, that's very pleasant, isn't it? Little uh, terrace bar or cafe. for the revolver, which I don't have. Oh, Lara, you vandal. Can I, um... No, <laughs> it worth a try. I should carry on going down, or... I'm going to go across here. Why not? Let's leave the beaten path. A key! Open that gate. That's fine. Larson. 
I think it was. It looked like Larson. It looked like how Larson looked in Tomb Raider 1. So. Yeah, I really can't remember what happened to him. I'll have to go back through my YouTube channel and have a look. Feel free to do the same. Garden key. this Behind me, I'll come back to that. Let's just scout the area first. Okay. Uh, I guess let's go open that gate. But who knows? Created is a shortcut. Get again. Sometimes you find things in the corners, in the nooks and crannies of the level. Other times it's just nothing. Ah, okay. Two keyholes. I have one key. If I can use it. We've got to find another key to get into the garden. Okay, it's straightforward. things like ammo or carry over between levels because these are all supposed to be separate stories so probably why I've got the revolver so early. At 
looks shootable. I'm not going to waste revolver bullets on it now. Bigger rats than that, my dear. Maybe again, don't know what's going to be in here. I really can't remember much of this at all. Played it once 20 years ago. trying to kill her anymore then? You were kicked in the head by a horse, we? So the brain doesn't work correctly? How'd you know about that? Never mind. Never mind. We wait until she collects the other pieces. In this fashion, we have the full price at no extra effort. You is one clever cookie, boss. Comparatively, yes. Come, let's get off this roof. And I will buy you a milkshake. I think I need to up the sound music. I'm not sure why the voice is so quiet. Yeah, let's try that. What am I looking for exactly? Probably round artifact. We'll see. I'm 
trying to get a feel for the layout of these levels before you can really work out where it is you're supposed to go. Yep. It's like the odd texture. see it. It's a large bell. What I've got to do, ring it. <coughs> laser sight. I've already got the laser sight. Ah, bullets for the revolver. Yeah, okay. Clearly it wants me to shoot. Uh, about what is this? This uh, shiny. Uh, probably a door. Down there. Right. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'll go this way. See what happens. Now, is that a two block gap or a three block gap? I think that's a two. It's a four jump and grab. God. Cut off. I mean, what is the point of these things? You can't, like. You can't kill them. I've got hardly anywhere to run. I have to use a back. <sighs> Open something else, but I don't know what. statues. It's out of this room. Left. Oh. oh. Look 
a bit, Laura. And she's just gonna turn it. Okay, I'm not sure that's supposed to be passing through the geometry of the ceiling there. This new ability to shimmy around corners. Game changer. Okay, I guess it's going to turn into a little white bird again. this drop. Yeah. No idea what this is going to do. Could open another door. We'd probably open the door outside. Lara, we're all friends here. Begging your pardon, ma'am, but if you'd like to put them pea shooters away. Uh. Now, the second stone, if you please, Miss Croft. Come get it. Mm. It's a little too late in the evening for these games. Larson, search her, if you please. Well, god darn if I don't get all the best jobs. You want to try the back pockets? Larson! Oh. Enough! Oh. Enough! My patience is exhausted with this childish nonsense! The stone, Miss Croft! If you put this into that gate, Pierre, you're going to get a lot more than you bargained for. Trust me. I'll put it in, then. That would be one of the stupidest moves you've made. And that's saying something. I think you'll appreciate. Uh... A nice try as always, Miss Croft. Wait for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. What is it? What have we done? In your usual flamboyant style, you have set in motion the next gate phase. Next gate phase? If my memory serves me, the gate has realigned itself. And if it does not receive two stones in the next few moments... If I was you, I'd grab your Cro-Magnon cowboy over there and run as fast as your little legs can carry you. Au revoir, mon cher. Oh, 
can move is this. Yeah, this is the next level. Oh, well, in that case. Yeah, I'll carry on. For a little bit longer. I'm not sure what this is. At the laser sight again. Yes. Really wants to make sure I've got that. Ooh. Is that a crowbar? Yes, it is. Aiming very handy in Tomb Raider 4, so I it would be quite handy here as well. I could use it to get through there, but apparently not. Oh, this is a very pleasant and pretty location. Weirdly devoid of any tourists, though. Maybe that must be like what the secrets are in this game. Be sure. Uh, okay. This is why the walk button was invented. Hmm. Okay. 
go again. Not particularly difficult, it's quite tedious. the other side of that rope that I was trying to get to. Yeah. So I have a really bad sense of direction. It does make playing Tomb Raider games quite difficult. Like, my brain doesn't match up places I've seen with other places you know what I mean. I treat each new area, each new room as if like it's completely unconnected to everything else when of course it isn't. Open this? Oh, come on, why put that there if you can't open it? Not even with the crowbar. No. No, fine. See if I can. like some elaborate clockwork device. Mm, okay, I want to get down there safely. I think, I don't think I can, I think I can make it over there. Pretty sure I can't make it over there. Right, okay. Save it. Drop down, see what happens. Realized I haven't died yet. Like nothing's nothing's killed me. I mean I know it's only the second level, but I've expected some diddly booby trap to get me by now. As I recall, on the PlayStation version, it did support analog controls. 
and you oh, I can't get up there. And you could use the right analog stick as a kind of free camera and move it all around whilst doing everything else, whilst walking, running, shooting, whatever. You could just wiggle the right stick and uh, it would move the camera. Uh, you can't, however, do that on the PC version. Uh, analog control wasn't implemented at all, as far as I'm aware, so it's not like something you can map uh, to a button or to the stick through Steam or whatever, because it's not it's not in the game, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Also, obviously, there's no um, there's no Rumble. I think the PlayStation version had Rumble. Uh, you shot? No, did it? Were there? Drawing a blank now. Was there Rumble on PS1? Yes, of course there was Rumble on PS1. Yes. Um, but again, that's not something that's implemented here uh, because it can't be. I guess. Not unless the game were recompiled. So, yep, I can do this. I also want that. Single jump won't make that. Single jump and grab might do. It's at a weird angle. Yeah, it's where it becomes a bit of guesswork. Okay, let's save it. Just make sure. Oh, no! Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna reload. Try that again. There we go. What's down here anyway? A big entrance to something, that's probably the end of the level. did. I would be inclined to pull it again. No. Once more, just in case I undid what I did the first time. I couldn't do anything yet. Alright, so i go check out these big cogs again, because something, something changed over there. I'm not sure what. Up or something moved down. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to pull the first one again. Um, maybe the second one spins them and the first one moves them. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to uh, just have to try things out. I think. Ah. There we go. 
keep on pressing it enough. Hello again. See what happens. No, that's it. Right. If that's as far up as it goes, that other cord should do something now. He says optimistically. They're not even touching. Honestly. Nice. Ooh, that's ominous. Alright, it's just a statue. I'm still not sure if I can drop down here safely, so I'm going uh, to take the safe route down. Oh, as if rats can climb up bloody walls. Come off it. Leave me alone. Get up the chase. Drawn, shoot first, ask questions later. Okay, that looks moderately inviting. Let's just have a look around here first. There we go, always explore. I want is behind that gate. Not be easy lighting effects in here. If I turn on the volumetric effects option in the configuration. Um, 
Yeah, it certainly didn't look this good on the PlayStation. Oh my goodness, what the hell is that? Turn me to stone or something, you damn weirdo. Uh, I died! Finally! <laughs> right. There we go. Um, yeah. So. God, and they swim as well. Finally, sort of Stop chasing me. this valve. Or just steal the handle, you know? Whatever works for you, Lara, that's fine. to go back into that, that room above. But I'll tell you what, the volumetric light is not playing too well with those dark shadows over there. It looks very odd. through the ceiling. Oh, that's over here. Um, okay, I'll go up 
here. I don't know. I've got this valve handle. Maybe that's all I need. New game be the default bit setting. Okay, let's try that again. that door. There isn't a door. Ooh. Secret road thing. Head move all around. something. Oh, 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 oh. 
how long is it on? I just need to turn it. Uh, right, okay, let's save it again. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to shoot the thing in the eyes. Easier said than done. Main reason being because normally you can anything you can kill you can target Lara will target automatically. So something that you can't kill, uh, something that you can kill but doesn't get targeted is a bit weird. Anyway, whatever. Not even sure what that did. To be perfectly honest, something to do with water. Mars symbol, right, okay. Oh, miss those. Or rather, they probably reappeared. No, okay. Mm. Is it possible I should have turned that valve more than once? No, let's just go back and see then. Otherwise I'll just be kicking myself. <laughs> Not a 
nothing. No, nothing. In fact, I can't turn it again. Uh, we go back down to the sewers. Killed? Who knows? It might not be a bad thing. See, I could, I could switch to this, but if he doesn't die, then I'm just wasting ammo. But there's no escape from this room that I can see, so sort it. Ow. Good to know.
I <laughs> use so much ammo. Anything else here? That's not a real door. under here. This even bushing ain't what it used to be. Not when you're involved, no. Practice makes perfect, I'm reckoning. Whatever. We seem to be missing someone. If you's talking about Frenchie, he's kind of indisposed. And you thought you might just help yourself to his share of what's behind that gate? Unless, of course, this is just a social visit. Well, you know I was always pleased to see a little bell like you, Laura. Be more pleased to see that last stone, though, if you'll be wanting to hand it over. <laughs> that ain't supposed to happen. jump and shoot method.
Alright. Let's try that again. Heck, this even bushing ain't what it used to be. Not when you're involved, no. Practice makes perfect, I'm ready. No, I can't skip it. <laughs> Whatever. Save it again there. for a shot that I don't have. separate targets here. I think I've got to shoot the ones... Whoa! Oh no, this is gonna kill me. Yeah. I think I've got to shoot the ones that have got fire in their mouths. So, yeah, I could do that. So, um, a feature that was introduced in Tomb Raider The Last Relation, Tomb Raider 4, was that the targeting, whether on automatic or manual, you can switch targets using the look button. It's not something that it teaches you. Nevertheless, you can do it. So... Ow. 
Oh, why did I not jump? I would try using the revolver to shoot them manually, but I've only got five bullets. So. Seriously? Come on. Literally press jump first and she turns. <sighs> and again! And again! I press jump followed by left and she just turns to the left. Ever gonna die? Okay, I mean I can try this, but sure what's going on here, I'm going to have to uh, seek some help. Right, apparently I'm not missing anything, you do just have to keep shooting them until they all die.
Norman. Bit of damage, I think. Try again. Ridiculous. was so bloody tedious. I don't know anything like it. I probably had like as much health as the final boss from Tomb Raider 1. Crazy. Okay, it's pretty weird. Tempted to call it a day there. Uh, I might play a little bit more later, but um, what level are we on now? Is this? Well, let's see. I think it's the third, I think it's the last level in Italy, but I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna end it there. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I may do some more of these. Uh, stay tuned to my YouTube channel, and I'll upload videos as and when. And I hope to get through Tomb Raider 5 pretty soon. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.